feeling this morning? Congratulations from all of us. Thank you so much. Um, I don't really think it's, it's sunk in yet, so I'm, um, yeah, just waiting for that, that moment to happen, really. Well, I tell you what, it's, um, it was terrific for us to watch, and we all felt inspired, and I'm not sure whether you felt the love yesterday. Did you, in a way? Beg your pardon? Did you feel the love Sorry. yesterday and, um, and all those tears uh, and um, all that excitement? I did, actually. Yeah. I did. Um, it was just incredible. So many people I've spoken to said they just had tears running down their face, mm. and that is just amazing. That is so incredible. Michelle, you spoke about some of the owners that maybe wanted you replaced. Um, what did they say to you after the race? Were they a little bit sheepish? Uh, nobody really, I think, was putting their hand up that they were the ones. I <laughs> know, who, who of course they were. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure, but um, anyway, it was, it was great to be able to win it for them and, and to celebrate with them. Your brother Stevie um, has been really instrumental uh, in everything, I think, for you up until this point. He picked that crucial barrier for you, the number one draw. He strapped the horse. You two clearly share a really special bond. Absolutely. And, and when, when he did pick the barrier one, that was just the beginning of the fairy tale. I was like, did that actually happen? That was just so incredible how it all played out. Like, it was so funny. Somebody told me the Japanese are looking at each other like, is this for real? Like, yeah. this is the greatest race. <laughs> and we're up there together. So that was just an amazing start to this story. And to share that with him is, is just so amazing. I'll, I'll never forget that, that moment of seeing him when I came back in. And, and he was a bit emotional, which I've, I've never seen him like that before. So um, it's just great, I think, also for Down Syndromes. And um, my charity, Down Syndrome Australia, Australia I just hope it sends out the message to so many people with young Down syndromes just to treat them as normal because they can be so capable in so many ways. Stevie is so smart um, and I just really hope that that message gets out loud and clear. Well it is. Um, look, it's a wonderful message to get out there. Um, also, it's, it's wonderful for your family as well and, and your dad, your pa, as, um, everyone's sort of dealt with a lot over the years, haven't they? Have you spoken to him yet? Yeah, I spoke to my dad last night. Um, he is an amazing man and um, like when he lost, when my mum died when I was six months old and, and how he dealt with that is just, it's something that I think about often like he just said when something bad happens something good's around the corner and um, I believe Stevie was given to us because of, because of what happened to my mum. He lives with my dad now and, and he keeps him going I'm sure and he's that's an absolute blessing to our family. Michelle, you've got another ride this afternoon. Was it kind of tempting to maybe call in sick? <laughs> <laughs> Funnily enough, the stewards asked me yesterday, will we be seeing you at Kyneton tomorrow? And I was like, I'll let you know tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Look, but um, I took it, took it pretty easy last night because um, it's a massive week and I, I really wanted to enjoy it and there's plenty of time to celebrate. Well, whenever you get the chance to do it, you deserve it, uh, you know, a thousand times over. Michelle, you sent a really beautiful message yesterday to young girls across the country and across the world as well. The first female jockey to ever win the Melbourne Cup. You said that when you were seven years old, you turned to your friends at school and said that one day you want to win the Melbourne Cup and they all laughed at you. What would you say to your seven-year-old self today? <laughs> we just did it. <laughs>